my god, this. We go to open the door and look, it's the evil one. He's just waiting. <laughs> He's just in the way. That's probably a good idea if I feed him right now, or else he'll attack me. Right, um, yeah, I've got food, it's alright. I'll even put it in a dry area. How about, oh, you're being nice today. Just headbutts. There's your cookie. There we go. What's your level of hunger? You didn't seem to try to eat my knee, so that's okay. Right, okay. Ah, the bridge of contemplation. Actually, the beach of contemplation. I kind of felt like going there. <laughs> well, there you go. Yesterday was an absolute blast. I took a train from Minajuku to Hakata and then the Shinkansen from Hakata to Kumamoto and then Kumamoto to um, um, Higo Ozu <laughs> and then walk from there like three k's I guess something like that to the motocross track checked out the All Japan event had a blast there met some aussies aussie 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 oi 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 got called out a bunch of times and um i took a six pack of normie beers and um two tallies so i was well healed for booze had a blast drunk off my ass good and uh yeah uh three 19 year old birds drove me to this train station <laughs> they, I recall them saying something like they're, they're girlfriends of some moto blokes and that's good so they would probably kick my ass if I tried to get to um what do you call them? if I approached them or <laughs> something you know no they were great they were really good birds so they were like oh, where are you going oh, to the train station <laughs> like, oh, go hop in <laughs> alright sweet so there you go that was good um and as you know, as those that my um, 433 loyal Ronin know that the last few years, two and a half years or whatever, time doesn't mean nothing to me, um, have been attacked because of this cow 19 hoax and uh, attacked my business and, and uh, I, uh, yeah, things have been real shit. So, you know, the cost of all, I end up blowing, going through 200 bucks for the day and you know, I won't let this uh, clown world nonsense, you know, um, dissuade me from having a, you know, a, a wild life, you know, no way. Um, anyways, um, you know, as, like I said, as you know, um, I've been attacked financially through all of this, and uh, it, it gives an F. So I call up Exy, I go, oh, you don't happen to have a, I, I said, <laughs> it cost me so much, you know. <laughs> and she's like, what the? She should be like, what the fuck? You know, calling me up. And uh, like this, uh, I'll call her up when I'm drunk. I'll go, oh, you don't happen to have a spare hundred bucks laying about there? <laughs> and then she goes, why? And I go, oh, because the Shinkansen cost me all this money and blah, 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 blah. And I'm rattling on like that. And she goes, all right, I'll, 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 I'll tell Sonia. Because my kid's rich as fuck. And um, I go, no, 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 don't, don't tell her that. And I go, Actually, I was gonna ask you for. Hey, oh hi, Elgazai. <laughs> okay, um, actually, I was gonna ask you for two hundred bucks, <laughs> and she goes, eh, "All right, um, so you're gonna pay me back?" <laughs> yeah, I go, I go, uh, yeah. <laughs> Total white lie on that one, um, but I go, yeah. <laughs> so Exy's gonna give me a couple of hundred bucks to pay for yesterday's exploits doesn't have to right <laughs> all right let's get back to the range Cut. Ah, let's do this Tuesday morning it is um, right getting the rig I'm gonna go to this auction house so there you go <laughs> stay tuned uh, I had a dream last night which was very strange I hope it's not a precursor my sister and I were washing dishes or something like that, and um, I just happened to shit myself. <laughs> and so I remember in the dream, I, I pulled my dax down to see if I've shat through my underpants 
and sure enough I've shat through my underpants and my jeans <laughs> yeah <laughs> there you go oh god still reeling from Sunday um, Sunday I got up at like 4.30 in the morning and um, headed out to um, the Kumamoto All Japan Race uh, motocross had, a, had an absolute blast I took a six pack of beers plus two uh, 350 mils they were and um, plus two 500 mil cans so I had eight cans on me <laughs> just drinking all day just drunk off my ass which was fantastic and uh, I ended up let's see we might be able to get through here yeah. Yeah. Woo. And, um, and uh, during the event I was filming all of it well I thought I was <laughs> and, uh, off case my camera lensy thing wouldn't open up 100% and um, most of the footage doesn't exist I actually I was drunk and I, I thought I was filming but I wasn't or something the battery just kept going out and uh, I had two batteries oh man I mean so much footage I was I was checked it last night and I was like are we? <laughs> where's the footage so that was all gone oh what happened all that and a whole bunch of change I pulled out and then I threw it back in again see I'm not exactly I'm a bit off kilter <laughs> right now but that's all right yeah um, but yeah uh, 4 30 in the morning I got there and uh, I, I got up and I went and I took a train into town then the Shinkansen down and then um, uh, a local train I had to sit on that for over half an hour and then walk about three k's or four or whatever and um, but yeah, I had an absolute blast. It was, it was really cool. An Aussie bloke uh, won, wrapped up the championship two races early. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, you know, you'll probably be out there riding next week, though. Um, and, uh, oh man, I, uh, yeah, I love the footage. Hang on, I've got to pay this toll bit. Hang on. Oh, how's those rays of sun coming through? It's going to be a nice day, I'm uh, guessing. Didn't even check the weather. Um, yeah, how's it? all that footage I took? It's non-existent. Like, I was filming. I had dark shades on. And I was going, I said, I'm going incognito. <laughs> yeah. those, those blokes uh, last week at the motocross track said, asked me if I'm going there. Oh, they just mentioned Kumoto. I thought they'd be there, but they, they weren't. Or unless they were up in the freaking announcers thing, I've seen him up there before, one of those top guys. Anyways, I um, so a lot of it I thought I was filming, but I, I just wasn't, <laughs> which just sucks completely. Um, oh well, oh, look at that policeman guy. <laughs> um, so, so um, I actually. I ran into the Aussie guy and his young family there, they're fantastic, real down to normal people, you know. And uh, they're great, we had a bit of a chatty poos, and uh, I was cheering on the Aussies, you know, screaming out, Aussie, 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 oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like that. And actually, um, some of the lines he was taking, uh, some of the other riders came down from the, he was in 250 class, some of the riders came down from the 4 view class to check out some of the, some of the corners, some of the ruts, and, um, making their decisions on where they're going to go on the track and so I was saying to the mate, this bloke, this Aussie bloke who's in the lead um, he won every race from, from, from the get-go of the series, eh? You get two races, Moto 1, Moto 2 uh, every in the, the one event and um, as I was mentioning to them oh, where he's going and what he's doing all that, oh, I got those, you know, so they took those lines and, and they were out in front, <laughs> so there you go um, but yeah, oh, what a blast. I ended up in town, uh, go, went to this bar that I've, I've been to many times and ran into some, some of the people of the night chaps that I've, I've, I've known for years. So that was good, but I, I was adamant with myself that uh, I'm going to get on the last train. It's going to happen. And um, in fact, I, I got on a train that was earlier than the last and, um, and uh, 
I had to sit and wait for a half hour around this other train or 20 minutes or whatever, you know, in the middle of the night, drunk off my ass. But um, I'm so glad I didn't go, oh, I have to, like I usually do, and, and stay out to plan on getting on the first train. Um, because that often ends up in disaster, <laughs> street fighting, or end up in jail, or in the drunk tank, and you know, all that kind of shit. So I'm quite proud of myself. Something I'm not exactly too proud of. Um, late in the afternoon, or uh, early night time, whatever, that night, I called up Bexy and I go, um, this trip, which is uh, is actually costing me a whole lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> and, uh, I go, I go, um, and um, I because it was 45 bucks, about well, 4,500 yen just to get into the event. I thought it'd be 2,000. It was 4,700 yen to get even just one way on the Shinkansen. Let alone I had to get on the local train and and the other train from in here in the town. And uh, the day ended up cost me plus beers. Huh? Uh, the day ended up costing our food and all that, about 200 bucks. And so, I go to Exy, um, oh, the trip kind of cost me a bit too much, uh, more than I thought. And I go, oh, you yeah, haven't exactly got a spare 100 bucks laying around here. <laughs> and, uh, she's loaded. And uh, anyways, um, and uh, here I am calling her up on a phone that she pays my bill on <laughs> and has done We've been divorced for 16 years. <laughs> and she goes, oh, all right. <laughs> I go, actually, it was really um, 200 that I was thinking of. <laughs> and she goes, oh, she goes, oh, okay. And uh, I go, um, all right, I'll, I'll swing by tomorrow. <laughs> and so, um, and the, the next day, I get a text and she says, oh, I haven't got cash on me right now. Can you send me your uh, bank account details? You know, I'm thinking shit. <laughs> Who knows how much you put in there? Um, anyways, uh, and I, I, I didn't have the heart to go through with it. So I, I, I text her back. I go, oh, and this is true. What I'm about to say. Uh, a bloke just contacted me and says um, he wants to buy a big washing machine off me. And so I said, oh, I think I'm going to be okay. And she uh, texts me back. She goes, oh, great news. And um, <laughs> I think she was pretty glad to hear that. <laughs> I tried to sponge off my ex -wife. Anyways, um, and she says, oh, Sonia wants to get together and go to a park on the 23rd of this month. There you go. Haven't seen my kid in about six and a half years. But see, I, I hung out and, um, and just never, never, never faltered on that one. And uh, never wavered, you know, believed that it would happen. And uh, so there you go, um, 23rd, gonna meet my kid, isn't that great? Oh, this bloke, right, calls me up this morning. I, 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 wake, I wake up and I, I grab my phone because I had the alarm set to 7. And he, no, hang on. What is the time? Yeah, I had my alarm set to 7, I think it was. And this bloke calls me up first thing in the morning and, um, and he goes, oh, good night. <laughs> you know, and uh, he's to tell me the news. Yeah, yeah so it's quarter to, quarter to eight. So he calls me up at 10 minutes to seven in the morning, this bloke. As he called me up early on a Sunday morning or a week ago. And um, he tells me, because um, he came around to my warehouse and bought a bunch of stuff off me. And, and he, he asked me, is there any places that are free here, uh, available? And I said, oh, I don't know. He says he really wants to get a space. And uh, I don't know. I said, oh, the last time I spoke to him was years ago. And he says, oh, I've talked about if my business grows even more. I'll, I'll, um, well, this is before the virus, he calls shit. Oh, a lot of bikers have today, yeah. That bloke's got armpit coolers, so do he. Um, and uh, I said, I don't know, because the last time he said, um, years ago, that he doesn't really want more people in anymore so but anyways that bloke um had asked a, a lady there for the number of the, the top guy and i said oh good luck with it i just i just don't know and um and uh then he calls me up this morning he says oh i've got a place so he's racked you know he didn't wanted to tell me so in a way i was kind of instrumental in that you know so 
uh, to help him uh, grow his business, improve his life, like that. And so that's a good feeling. Yes. All right. I better better get back to concentrating on driving. <laughs> And um, right off to an auction house this morning. Um, yeah, I just ticked off that all that footage, that so much of that footage I thought I was taking, I didn't, you know. Uh, the podium speeches and shit, and the, the load of the, the load of the loads of the jumps and all that, and yeah, chat, having chatting with the, the Aussies, um, yeah, cheering them on. All that doesn't even exist. <laughs> oh well, the gods will decree. I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, yeah, after the race, uh, we were walking out, and um, hang on, I'm going to get move along a little bit here, some blokes coming up behind me quick. Um, after the race, uh, there were some bus services that take you out to the main road, and um, or the main car park, whatever. And uh, so, I, um, I get to the entrance and a bus had just left, you know, just now I'm like, Kriashi! And uh, that means drats, and these three, these three babes, they turn around and go, oh. I said, oh, I missed the bus, you know, bus to Kriashi, and and, um, and uh, they go, oh, where are you going? And uh, I go, um, I show my hand, I've got written down here, Higo Ozu, they go, oh, Ozu, yeah, just in it's uh, the train station. So these three babes are all 19 years old, and they were right with laugh with them, and uh, they they drove me to the train station. How's yeah, that, eh? <laughs> yes. Um, right then. Yeah. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, and then on the then I uh, had to take the local yokel train all the way back into town into Kumamoto. And then I was kind of wanted to walk around Kumamoto because I haven't actually um, walked around the, the main city there. I'll get around to that one of these days and I'll, I'll get a um, tourist map and make that happen. Yeah, maybe you can pay for it. I'll go down on the Shinkansen. It's 4,700 yen right there. One way. <laughs> yeah. Alright, back to it. This section here totally blows. Is um, down there. There's like this weird kind of intersection -y section. You got these dudes on that side, and the other dudes on that side. Then you got us. So it's like three different lights, and it only goes for a, a very short term. So um, a very short interval. There you might get about five cars through. Or more than that, but so it's just bullshit. That's <laughs> what that is. Oh, hey, I'm glad I survived it. Right then, so tonight what I'll do is I'll polish off that booze and um, oh, that bottle of red wine I've got. And then tomorrow I'll have a mission to um, get sober again <laughs> and uh, and then get rid of my beer gut. Shouldn't it? it usually takes about 10 days. Um, because I want to look good in front of the kid, see? See, it's already got the red lighty thing. They're, they're, they've got their green now. Once they got get their red, then some other dinky road there, they get a, a light too, so it's just bullshit. Um, I've been here for three or four lights before. Um, yeah, so let's have one of these. Let's see anything. Yeah, so I've got to get rid of my beer gut. And what I'm going to do is um, open up the, the box of stuff. That way, a kid made stuff when she was in kindergarten and that sort of shit. And, and in there is the um, the original tennis balls that we threw to each other. We made this game up, you see. And, um, at the Imajuka Beach Park, we made this game up. And uh, we also, so what you do is you start off uh, very, really close to each other and then you you pass the ball to each other and then you step back and say like, good catch, you know, and then step, you both take one step back and then pass the ball to each other one step back and uh, eventually get to the point where you might not catch the ball, but 
if it's within the vicinity of um, like you say you're allowed to put your toe on the ground sort of thing and just stretch out and if it's in that vicinity you, and you can pick up the ball and continue the game and if you can't reach it then it goes back to the start again now um, we were playing that game also on uh, Sefriyama when we went up there there's this beautiful temple up there some of you would have seen the temple in my videos See, look at that, bam, it's already, already gone back to, <laughs> back to red. Um, and that particular day was uh, very memorable because, um, I recall it vividly, because um, it, was, uh, it was foggy up there. Now, we started playing that game, and soon enough, we couldn't see each other. So when the ball came through, the ball would just all of a sudden come through the fog <laughs> and scare the shit out of us. God, that was a laugh. So there you go. So that's a plan. And I've got this awesome frisbee that I kept also. And uh, we played with that too. And um, it was a lot of fun. So. Um, you know, it's not like she's way too old to play that game again, so there you go. Um, a lot of young people, like at, at the, the beach park that I often go to, you see young people and adults and, you know, families and doing all that sort of stuff, so. So there you go. Ah. I wonder what would have happened though, because um, Xy goes, um, oh, you can, um, uh, just, just text me your bank account details. <laughs> that might have been, that might have been a lottery, <laughs> a lottery ticket win right there. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I mentioned, I go, oh shit, I've got to pay my rent, you know. Nah, no, that's all right. Well, today the plan is, um, hopefully. Oh, so you don't get there going now. <laughs> um, hopefully, um. There'll be a whole bunch of tools and stuff there. A bloke contacted me um, when I was at the track, and uh, he said oh, I'm selling four two-tone hydraulic jacks and uh, uh, 25 bucks each. And he goes, Oh, what about two thousand for for one of them? Well, two thousand yen. No, I was quite twenty bucks. There was a time when a hundred yen was was um, a dollar. You <laughs> know. I wonder if we'll ever get back to that. But anyways. Um, um, I said, oh, okay, no worries, um, so sell that to him for 20 bucks, and uh, another bloke contacted me about something else, oh, I've forgotten already, and another bloke says he wants to come around on Sun Saturday, I think, I, I dropped the price of this big washing machine uh, considerably, and I'm only going to make 30 bucks, but I'll at least get my money back, you know, um, but I sold another one, I made 50 bucks, so that's all right, but whoa, god, they're big bastards to handle and trying to get that into that bloke's car was <laughs> that was a real mission. That was first thing on Saturday morning. Um, is that right? Yeah, first thing on Saturday morning. Um, that sucked, but at least um, I made a bit of money on one other one too. So you know, every now and again they sell, but um, it's more so that um, in the peak of summertime, you sort of sell them more. Oh, there's this total bay behind me. Um, in the summertime, you sort of sell them because washing machines and, and especially refrigerators sort of um, go on the blink. Fridge is on the blink if there's no cold beer. Um, they go on the blink around that time, so that's sort of best when you um, they're using them uh, at a, a more in more regularity, so they tend to shit themselves. In that time, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't from that drink, and um, so um, washing machines aren't exactly lucrative for what you have to do with them. But who knows? Uh, even just making a bit of those is, is all right because you know my business was totally attacked because all this freaking virusy shit. It really caused some serious problems for my life. Yeah. But anyways, um, you know, I'm hopeful to get a whole bunch of tools uh, today, and maybe I don't know, a chainsaw or air compressor or something, something good. Let's see how it goes. 
but um, my mate says um, you, you're best hanging out for those lots where they, they sell a whole bunch of shit all at once and just piece it out. And uh, he's right. Um, some dudes have been coming along and and buying some of my shit like that. And um, they come to the warehouse and they go, oh, what about that? What about that? So that's really cool. And I'm really enjoying it. Like, really enjoying it. I'm meeting some great people. Real good laughs. And like I say, that um, that bloke that called me up today, he's wrapped, you know. He's like, oh, man. Because if he didn't meet me, he wouldn't have been able to find this, this um, his own warehouse space. And so he's going to... He does similar things to me. I'm sure we can do stuff together. And... Um, yeah, we can sort of help each other out, do stuff together. Well, it's not. She was a babe. <laughs> um, so yeah, we can sort of help each other out doing stuff. Um, he's another uh, hiking kaiju guy, like the guy next door for, for me, and the bloke next door for me. Uh, we help each other out with stuff all the time, so that's cool. The uh, hiking kaiju guys, they can. Uh, it's amazing what they find, you know. So that's cool. Um, I doubt we'll be in direct competition. I hope not. <laughs> um, but no, he's already shown me what he does. And another bloke showed me what he does too. In fact, one bloke came around and he just started taking pictures of a bunch of my stuff. <laughs> he goes, oh, if I sell this, I'll come and see you. <laughs> so yeah, help each other out and just, you know, find ways to, find ways to survive. Yeah, here's a um, tech tip of the day if they're flashing there and they don't tell you what cost it is don't go <laughs> tech tip of the day that's the Cosmo Servo service station eee. I'm just babbling on now and on uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get through this bloody section here <clears throat> anyways I haven't exactly uh, figured upon a, um, a budget for today uh, so that's often that's often um, a bad idea <laughs> because I end up going, oh yeah, I'll buy that, and um, end up two years later still got the bastard. <laughs> Let's see if we can fucking get through here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Finally. The Rock has come back to Houston. Yeah, so um, I, I'd, I'd like to only spend a couple of hundred bucks and just buy a whole bunch of shit that I can pa pass out, pass, oh, well, peace out, peace out, dude. Um, hopefully that'll be the case. Yeah. And you know, in some strange way, I'm kind of enjoying this because, um, hang on. <coughs> yeah, I'm walking your bastard. Um, the, the cow 19 I mean, the, this, um, the, the virus -y thing fucked everything up because it made me have to be more resourceful. And, um, I got stuck here basically, and but I didn't want to go back to Australia in the first place. Um, Australia bought the shit out. Um, yeah, I didn't want to, so I had to sort of find ways to be resourceful and just kind of try to live a within my means, but also have a life. You know, that's um, that's a big thing for me. You know, to actually still have a life, still be able to do things, and um, like like going to that race. You know, I sort of the night before I said, "No, nah, I won't go." They're gonna film it. They're, they're gonna have a live feed of it, anyways. But brain woke me up at four thirty-three in the morning, and it was just, "Hey, you." there's a mission and you have to complete the mission <laughs> so I went on a mission yeah still reeling from it ah uh, that's a cool cool business name no limits what's that say automobile professional shop there you go all right so today um I'm probably going to spend more than i want to because uh, i usually do i'm such an idiot <laughs> And um, I, I should have accepted um, wifey's proposal rather <laughs> than me giving her my bank account details. But at least uh, I know that, you know, if the 
shit hits the fan, Dixie would, would, would step in, and I like that. Um, it's just good to know. That's really, really good to know. Well, there you go. <laughs> it's like um, five o'clock or something now. The Arvo. Um, I had a fantastic day. Bought a whole bunch of stuff. It's all on the back of the truck right now. God, we went way over budget, but that's alright. Some people contact me throughout the day and say, oh, we want to buy this, we want to buy that, blah, blah. So I'm like, alright. Uh, based on that, um, I decided to buy more. <laughs> and boy, did I buy more. <laughs> so I've got some really good shit. Um, uh, mostly domestic stuff. Some of the, like, there's a lot of junk in there too that I have to throw away. <laughs> Uh, they often, you know, they, they put all kinds of stuff and they get rid of that, get rid of that, yeah, yeah. So he ended up dragging back a bunch of shit you don't want. But I put that on my zero end pile and um, people sometimes grab stuff, you know. So that helps. Um, it just costs money to throw shit away. But um, essentially, uh, it's um, worked out pretty good so far, yeah. <laughs> Alright, back to soldier and I've got to focus a bit and get tired too. Elemental forces caused the egg to hatch. From it then came a stone monkey. The nature of monkey was irrepressible. 